Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA podcast. I'm your host, Sky. We got your host, Jason, the building, and special guest, AJ Justin Time in the building. Let's go. Uh, go ahead oh. and uh, introduce yourself. Let us know how you got into MMA, when you got into MMA, and who your favorite fighter is. I got you. So, my name is um, Justin. You, I go by AJ. I'm originally from New York, but I moved to um, PA about three to two years ago. So, I'm out here in PA now. So, when I got into MMA, I'll say I was flipping through the channels one day and I saw that it was Spike TV was on. And yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm like one of the the people that's like generic. The first fight I actually seen was Forrest Griffin and Stephen Bonner. So, that's how I really got the hang of it. But my, my favorite first fighter was Anthony Pettis. I'll say that. Showtime. Yeah, my, yeah, my Showtime. favorite fighter. Showtime. The guy but on the all mini time, box. Right, right, exactly. But all time, I'm going to say McGregor. All time favorite, though. Ooh, have we had a McGregor yeah. fan on, Jace? Oh, yeah, yeah. Who? Vinny. Right. Vinny likes McGregor? Because he, he came on Irish. and said his favorite fighter was uh, Charles. Charles, yeah, but his all time mm. is Connor. Ah. Mm. Listen. You, you see, right, got it. I was going to say, does anyone not like Charles? Um, Nah, I love Charles. Charles is great. Charles like, is great. It, so Charles I want to great. talk about this real fast before we, we jump into it. You know, now we got sidetracked. Why do why do we love Du Bronx so much? Serious question. I think, um, because like as a UFC fan, I'm always an MMA fan. As a UFC fan, like, you know where he came from. He started like from the bottom, and he wasn't doing so good, and he got his shit together, and he did what he's supposed to do. That's what I think. Why people love him, and he's a great fighter too. So, Scott, I think I think it, what he said, and also his fighting style. Like he's a finisher. You know what I mean? Like not only uh, is he really <laughs> not only is he really mm. good at grappling and jujitsu, but he's also really good on the feet too. You know what I mean? Right. And so like that makes it exciting. Like he's not you know mm. that Charles isn't going in there to lay and pray on somebody, period. Right. Yeah, I almost you wonder see. is like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cook, cook. So one thing, I don't think Charles is good on the feet. I just think he's durable enough on the feet. I don't think he's durable, like I don't like he's just durable on the on enough on the feet. I don't think he's really like Tell, tell, wait, wait, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell, tell that to Chandler the first time they fought. <laughs> he crumbled that <laughs> nigga. He did. He definitely did. But I don't know. Like, you're talking about, like, elite strikers? I just think he's not of that tier. But he's a good striker, though. Yeah. yeah. Striker, though. Definitely. I wouldn't say he's elite, but he's definitely good. He has good technique. He has, right. you know, more than enough to be able to handle himself on the feet. He's not going to go out there and get, like, just completely clown. That's true. And, and, and yeah. it's interesting as well, right? Because he doesn't speak a word of English. Like he's been, listen, name uh, another fighter who's been in the UFC over 15 years and still speaks a fact. zero English. Hasn't even tried. Fuck English. Um, that's a good question. Damn. Jose? I don't know. I, I was going to say Jose too. I was going to say Jose. I'm trying to think about known uh, Jose to speak in English. But actually, Charles has been in the UFC longer than Jose. No, really? he hasn't been yeah. there. Um, yeah, because uh, Jose Jose was WEC. Mm. Let's see. But, yeah. but but as guys looking that up, I honestly don't know if there's another beloved fighter more than Charles Dubronx. Like no one I've never heard anyone say anything bad about him, especially in the past four to five years. Maybe Yeah, prior well, they to call that, him a quitter. Yeah, prior you to that, you call that him a quitter. Oh. Yeah, but but no one has hatred toward him, right? It's kind of like right. this, uh, what I say about music. The most accepted music by, by, by leaps and bounds is reggae. And the reason why I say that is no one hates reggae. It might not be your shit. Why are you, you saying it like that? Reggae. <laughs> I, I'm not Jama- I'm not Jamaican. <laughs> you but I mean, it. still, like it's reggae. Like you're like reggae. <laughs> Reggie, Reggie. <laughs> like, but that's, dude, a, just, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good no question. one hates it. You you might not love oh. it, but anyone you can just play it, and people will be like, oh, okay, yeah, Bob Marley, whatever, cool. You try that with rock, nope, rap, nope, country, nope. Emo never dies, but uh, you know, it is what it was. Mm. Um, Scott, can I say something real quick? I, I don't yeah. want you to get mad at me. I really don't want you to get mad at me. Uh-oh. I, 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 uh, no, wait, wait. Have, have <laughs> don't come on here with no, with no Max Holloway hate. Don't come on no, here with no Max Holloway hate. It's definitely about Max Holloway, but there's no hate, though. 
Okay. We do realize that the BMF title has no more like is it lost its mystique after Mac Ooh. didn't oblige Ilya. It it didn't like that's it. Like I don't think the BMF belt has the mystique anymore. So uh, I, all you I gotta do like, is uh, ask Max about his next paycheck. Uh, and, then, and, then, and then and then we'll, we'll worry about that. When he gets the pay per view points, then, then we'll worry about that. So mystique or not, what's going inside the bank account? That's what we worried about. So if y'all want to give it to Ilya, give it to Ilya. It is what it is. But all I know is your boy gonna to. get cashed I out. To. I have to. And like I, I I love Max, but like when Ilya but. did that, Ilya when Ilya did this, and he's smaller than Max, and Max said no. He went like this. That don't fly with me. You can't be the BMF belt. You can't have the mm. BMF. You, you, uh, mm. you absolutely have to be the BMF belt. Could you imagine Max Holloway being dumb enough within the first 10 seconds to stand in the middle of the octagon Ooh. with the man who not only knocked him out, later on knocked him out, but if he would have got knocked out in the first 30 seconds because he wanted to be cool and 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 obliged to some... Like, that don't make no sense to go with a power puncher who has mm -hmm. all of his energy in the middle of the octagon in the first 10 seconds stand and bang with him. Like, he's not an idiot. Like, he's not Tony no, I, Ferguson. He's not punch drunk. I definitely agree. I, I definitely agree with you. But at the end of the day, he did want to, like, put his hands down and say, like, this... And, right. and why you got to try to steal my style? Once again, like Max and. said, why don't you have your own thing? Mm. Why are you trying to steal my style? You're constantly trying to uh, swagger jack people rather than just being yourself. He's not himself. But, Afterwards, all of a sudden, he's like, oh, you know, I like Max Holloway. I had to try to make up something. Like at the end of the day, he's not being him. He's being Kobe Covington. He's just doing anything to get attention. He, that's not his move. You know but what at mean? the so end of the day, you, it doesn't okay. matter because he still got slept. So it didn't matter if it happened in the first 10 seconds or when he got slept. He still got it, slept. It does matter. It does matter. Because if Max Holloway would have stood out there in the middle and got knocked out in the first 30 seconds, y'all would have been like, Max has no fighting IQ. He's an idiot. Why would he do that? Y'all would have trashed him. Y'all would have been like, he is the dumbest fighter on this planet. Why would he go in there with a power, stri fight, uh, power striker and get knocked out in the first 30 seconds? That's the dumbest shit I ever heard of. Hey, I agree with AJ. You supposed to be a BMF though. You supposed to be standing on business, ten toes and, down. And not for nothing, Ilya is way smaller than that man. He's way smaller than Max. How do you know? Like, no, like, like, but, like but, but what did that have to do with <laughs> like height wise? Like, like, like height wise, height wise. <laughs> but, but even even when height wise, like that still has nothing to do with it. Like you still have to be smart. If that's the case, mm -hmm. then in every single fight. That, you know, anybody who's like, hey, come stand in the middle and bang with me. Like, Max is just supposed to be like, yeah, okay, because I'm the BMF. And this, that makes no sense. I mean, they're I mean, fighters. This is their brain health at the end of the day. Why would right, I so train? This is what I told this one dude. Why would I train okay. 12 weeks to to just blow it in the first 30 seconds? I mean, I, I've done it. <laughs> Shut up, Chase. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, I, I for have, me, but... if Max would have stood in the middle of the octagon with him as probably the biggest Max Holloway fan on the internet, I would have been livid. I would have been livid. You wouldn't have said really? that. Wait, 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 wait. You wouldn't have said that if he'd have slept his ass there. Yes, I would have. Right. Yes, I would have. Right. That's way too fucking risky. That that didn't even make any sense. I would have thought that he was an idiot. Mm. Even if he would have mm. slept him, I'd have been happy he was champ, but I'd have been like, why would you do that? 12 weeks of training, and then you go in the I middle of the octagon? I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to You don't remember? Before before the fight happened, Ilya was saying he was going to do that. And I, you can go back and screenshot comments of me saying, that's dumb. He's not going to do it. So if no, I'm, I'm saying I'm, it beforehand, listen, why would hey, I change my mind? Sounds good. Sounds good. But... If Max would have walked over there and slept him and kept walking, Scott, I would have heard you. I'm 400 miles away from you. I would have heard your scream. Motherfucker, yes! It wouldn't be like, you stupid. I'm not saying yes! I wouldn't be excited. It's a knockout. I'm going to be excited. But what I'm saying is, is I'm not going to sit there and be like, wow, I, I told you Max was going to do that. No, I would have been like, that was dumb as hell. That was risky as hell. What would be the point in that? Damn, that's true. That was a good fight, though. It was a good fight. Until it, it was. wasn't. It was. I feel like I feel like Max stepped on the. I know. I feel like Ilya stepped on the gas when he did that um that bleed kick. I think that hurt Ilya bad, and I think Ilya stepped on the gas to get him out of there. Cause that, he finished him right right after that, right? He finished him Max right after that. The the bleed kick. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. From my perspective, I only watched the fight once. I'm not gonna go back and watch it, and y'all know why. Mm -hmm. Um. Keep playing. Um. For me, in the third round, even though mm -hmm. Max was winning, there were points leading up to 
uh, that knockout where he was just stagnant. He was just standing yeah. in front of Ilya. He was not moving lateral. He wasn't moving in and out. Like, he was just standing. And I have my friend here, and I kept yelling at the TV because I'm that kind of person that's yelling at the TV. But I'm just like, <laughs> hey, move, 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 circle. Like, being a stand, being a sitting target is not where you want to be, especially with your back up against the cage. Um, and so a lot of his movements, uh, he started just, like, getting way too comfortable um, just not moving around. But that was 308. 309 yeah. just happened. Comment this down below. Comment down below. Put Sky on blast. Tell her she's capping. Let's talk about 309. Oh, Let's please. Talk about please. It. please. Let's talk about it. Your boy, Jace. Oh, God. Who's <laughs> Your my boy, boy, John Jones. Fuck took John on, Jones. Took on, you know, the, the, the oldest man in the division. <laughs> Someone's grandfather. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as we expected, got it done. Right. Let's save that for Were last. Let's go down the card. Oh, you want to go down? The <laughs> yeah, let's start from the oh. top. Let's start from the bottom. It's a good card, though. It's a good card. What do you, you want to so? talk about? Uh, like, I don't think anything on the undercard was really. Aware. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, that's wrong. The uh, Basel and Elliot fight was a banger. Yeah, I like Elliot. Yeah. They give me a problem. He give me a problem. He give me a problem. Ooh, the whole Coke like pose every five seconds. Great. Right. Right. Yeah. Other than um, that, keep scrolling. Your boy, uh, oh, that was a hey, shout out to Roberto Romero, man. Yo, yo he came in there, yo, was standing he, on yo. business as long as he fucking could, fighting Straight against, business. you know, the, the unknown. Mr. Yeah. Under the Bed himself. We know Onama. No, no, no. I don't like I don't, no, 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 no. I know him, but he looks like the unknown. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Tell me he doesn't. Uganda in the house. That was a banger of a fight. Hey, your boy Roberto Romero, man, this is what me and Sky always say, and I'm sure AJ will agree about this. Sometimes when you lose a fight, you still win. Just like, and we'll get to it later with Mr. Bo right. Nickel. Sometimes right. when you win a fight, you really fucking lose. Right. And we got to give right. props to your boy Jim fucking Miller. Let's, let's just go ahead. Jim fucking Miller. Nah, right. Yo, right. <laughs> Miller, man. Shit. It's crazy. It's crazy. Nah, Jim Miller, the Jim way Miller. he was on that guillotine was crazy. <laughs> yo, call me crazy, but I think Jim Miller could beat. Call me crazy, but I think he could beat Chandler and McGregor. I think he could beat them. Right, right now. Right now. You think so? I think. Crazy. I'll call you I crazy. I beat them crazy. right now. And Not I, McGregor, you said that's your all time favorite. Yeah, but I, I gotta be realistic though. I got I can't be, you know, I gotta be realistic. Oh nah. shit, you, you're though. on the wrong podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we the Lulu. <laughs> we the Lulu. Oh, I could be delusional too. I, I could. All right, what's your most delusional hot take? <laughs> oh, Tom Aspen is the best fighter the earth has ever seen. That's that's point blank period. Nobody's better than him ever. Nobody. Ever. Ever. Nobody better than uh, nobody better than him. Nobody. Let's save that till we get to the top of it. Let's save that till we get to the top of it. You think he better than Ilya? Um, Tom? Yeah. Of course. I think if they were the same size, I think he would do Ilya just how he did Sergey. Honestly. I, I ain't gonna lie. I think Ilya would win if they were the same you think size. So? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Tom is just uh, he's he hit hard too. He do. He hit he hit hard. Same size, Alex sleeping everybody. Stop fucking playing with me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get on you about that, man. I'm going to get on you about him. Yeah, we, yeah, we got to get, get on, on that. Okay, uh, let's wrap on. up 309 real fast. Um, Jonathan Martinez and then that was a cool fight. Oh, oh, Marcelo. I didn't like the decision. You didn't like the decision? I thought yeah. I gave it to Jonathan personally. I had a draw. I, I, I had a draw. Yeah. I gave it a draw. It wasn't a robbery, but I just gave it to him. Yeah. Mauricio Rufi with the no look hook. Is that, that not one of the nastiest shots that was crazy. of the year? That was crazy. That was wild. I mean, that man was. I, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Yeah, I, I give have. him the Izzy. <laughs> give him the Benil. Let him kill Benil and get Benil out of here. Give him the Benil. That's what I say. Man, that, well, that that's that the was... case. Sky is gonna say, give him to Grant Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, not Grant. Grant. Ooh. Ugh. Let's talk about your boy. Sky, do you, do you want to start? Um, Bo Nickel at the post 
um, fight. Well, oh, God, let me get my words together. Him talking to Joe Rogan at the end of the fight felt very much like Patty Pimblett after he lost to Jared, but thought that right. he won and was like, hey, fight of the night, guys, right? That was a good fight. Both sitting there acting like, I'm really proud of myself. That was a good... Dude, did you see yourself? 30, a minute into the round, I was like, I think I sent a message to Jason CJ, and I was like, any decent striker in the middleweight division knocks Bull the fuck out. Any this decent striker? striker? Looks terrible. Decent. So Chris Curtis? Yes. Oh, yes. Chris Curtis striking. I'm not talking about his wrestling. I'm talking about striking. Okay. okay. You didn't see yeah, that I, striking? I, yeah, she was terrible. Terrible. You terrible. got Paul Craig looking good? Style. What? Right. And the and, and the bad part is we've seen what Kyle did to, to Paul. That 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 was bad. We've seen what Kyle did to him. So oh, Kyle. Miles that, that getting good. him yeah. out of there. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. So so we can go ahead and um so I've been calling for it for about a year now saying that Bo Nickel is not that dude. He's not yeah. that guy. Now everyone choo choo jump on the bandwagon. Your boy Bo Nickel is not that dude, right? And and I heard an interview with him after the fight. Him uh he was saying he was in his feelings because the the commentary team he said was being so disrespectful to him. <laughs> Being like, oh, like, you know, he can't fight. Um, he can't strike to, you know, like, there's no way he can compare to to come shot. Well, guess what, son? There's no fucking way that you can compare to come shots. Come shot Shamayev runs, runs through you. I don't I'll run is crazy. I don't know. Run is runs through Did you see you. what he just did to Robert Whitaker? Of course. That shit was nasty, but I don't think he's gonna out wrestle Bo. They're gonna they're gonna I think Comstock's gonna win though. He's definitely gonna win. He's definitely gonna win, but I don't know. He doesn't I, have to out wrestle yeah. him. He can touch that chin. But like I, I don't wanna see Comstock fight against somebody that's gonna shoot against him. That's what I wanna see him fight against. Who gonna so, shoot? I don't know. DDP? I, I, DDP I think Bo I think Bo or Kyle, one of them gonna shoot on him. I think one of them too. Bo is never fighting for the title. I uh, think Bo lose who who does he lose to? Yo, does Jack Manson be Bo Nickel right now? Yes. Hermanson? I wish Hermanson would get out of the fucking, out of the rankings. Like, this man never fights. I forget that he's there. Right, Jack is currently number 12. Right. I haven't seen Jack fight in a while to have an opinion. I, I just. I can see them booking that fight 100%. If, if I'm Dana, I'm booking Joe Pfeiffer and Bo Nickel, and I think Pfeiffer will get, get Bo out of there. Pfeiffer sleeps this nigga. I think he gets, again, he gets him out of there. Seriously, like. The game gets modded in. So, I'll take that fight. Bo Nickel and Joe Pfeiffer, I, I, I'll watch that. No. Listen, the next guy who Bo fights is going to be someone where I have to think about, like, oh, he's still in the UFC? Because they tried to put him against Paul Craig, right, who is known, like, okay, all he does is jujitsu, And he looked atrocious. I know right. Dana didn't want to take a shit on your guy, but, you know, as he's talked about with other people, I just zoned out. I, I didn't know I was still there at the fights. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. I know I zoned out at that fight every mm -hmm. single time, one minute after round one. All of a sudden, the phone was in my hand. And that's what I equate now to zoning out. If I got my phone in my hand and I'm fucking scrolling, I'm zoned the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> um, But once again... He can develop. He's only been striking, what, for like four years? So right. I'm not willing to say that he's can't potentially get... Everybody can get better, you know what I mean? Like, he's training right. with the best. He does have great work, ec work ethic. So I'm not just going to say that, like, he's trash. But, I mean, he definitely knows he has something to work on. Like Dana said, there's, there's obvious holes in his game. I think they definitely want to protect him. Right. Here, here's what the, the main thing that I hope that comes out of this stop fucking putting this dude on all of the biggest cards he doesn't deserve yeah. it he just yeah. shouldn't yeah. be there and then put him on the main card of these like I think that shit's over with I right. I, I, I love the fact the fucking fans overrated cha, 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 cha. The <laughs> fight. phenomenal Ooh. shout out to New York right um, let's get on to, you know, Charles Oliveira versus Michael Chandler. I had no idea that it was five rounds until it started. <laughs> yeah, like, Charles is on, yo. I don't know. Listen, I mean, I know some people will say John Jones. 
I think Charles Oliveira had the best performance of the night. Like it was, it was, it was. He made Chandler like he wasn't supposed to be there. You round know, five, Chandler, was round five, five, round five, round five had me screaming, no cat, right? And mm-hmm. at that point now, because you saw Charles Oliveira just beating the shit out of him, you, you start cheering for Chandler. Come, on, well, come, right. well, come on, well, well, come on, Chandler, mm-hmm. let's go. Even though my money was on Charles um, by sub, but you know it is what it was. Y'all right. think that was fighter tonight? No, uh, no. I think David, David, and the other guy, David and the other guy was. Fighting yeah, him. like I don't know why they gave Charles and Chandler fight of the night, like because Charles dominated him, was on his back the whole time. Like that wasn't like this super exciting fight. Like take away round five, and it was, and, right. and that would have just been like, damn, that was a dominant performance that really left little to the imagination. Um, right. But we talk about that all the time about when his people with even like uh, Max and. and and Justin, that wasn't a great fight. That was a great performance. There's a difference, right? Right. I got another. I got another hot take. I think. I think Max and Charles fights, and I think Max takes Charles's um title shot. That's, That's what I think gonna happen. Wild. Charles think Max fucks gonna Max up. I think Max will cook Charles. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think Max cooks him bad. Cooks yeah. him. I, I, bad. I definitely want to see it. I definitely want to see it. I think, I think that... Charles gets him down, but I think Max gets back up. Listen, in, in the words of Brandon Schwab, don't, hey, hey, woo woo, hey, woo woo, I'm your older brother. Don't be rolling your eyes at me. Slap you in the back <laughs> of your head. Shit. In the words of Brandon Schwab, career suicide. For who? For Max. Are you, are you, are you being serious? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't this guy, so. like this guy, Jace, like I'm telling so. y'all, he yo, like, no, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think so. This one, this, there's probably like three guys through the featherweight and lightweight division that can legitimately be maxing a fight. Like, there's probably three of them. That's it. Everybody else, max kills. Yeah, like for real. So Jace, just... Jace is also the guy that just said two weeks ago that Max Holloway needs to retire. So you, we could just anything that has to do with Max, Jace got to stay out of it. He's got to stay out. I said he should think about it. No, you didn't. You said career suicide. Do not go to 155. You need to retire. It's on the video. Like, stop it. I'm listen. All bullshit aside, Max. Max needs to win his next fight. You think so? He needs to. He needs to win his next fight. Nah, there's there's too many fights out there for him. Because you get. You you get flatlined, right? And then you lose after that. And then people and Sky, you'll back me up on this. The narrative will change then. Oh man, Max has been hit too much. Max They've Max been saying that. Up. They've been saying that for the last seven years. They wasn't saying that after he slept Justin. Yes, they were. They were saying that he was gonna become Tony Ferguson. No, 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 no. You didn't hear what I said. Listen, no, I said after. I said after he sub Justin. Who was saying that about him? They were everybody was going against Max. They were saying Max gets hit too much. Uh Ilya's gonna knock him out. They were saying that. You don't be on the internet. I do be on the internet. What do you mean? No, you don't. Mm, Why is this becoming a Max Holloway podcast? I don't feel like shooting at you right now. We are talking about 309, Charles Oliveira, and Chandler. Wait, just, just real quick. For the record, the Max that beat Justin, that the Max the Justin that lost the, the the Justin that lost to Charles, Max kills that Charles. I'm sorry, he kills him. He kills that Charles. Sounds good. Yeah. So let's talk about the meat and potatoes. Oh wait, real quick. Who do you want to see Charles fight next? I want to see Charles Max. I want to see Max. I want to see. I'd like to see Charles move up to 170. Fight who? Anybody. No, he'll get killed. He's too no. He's frail. I think he's no, little. He's huge. Can you, How you know? Can you, can you imagine Charles fighting Joaquin Buckley? Only what are you fans. gonna do to Buckley? He'll, what are you gonna do to Buckley? He'll choke Buckley out. Ain't no way. What are you gonna no do way. to uh, what are you gonna do to Ian? Ian got Ian not. What are you gonna do to Shavkot? Hey, Shavkot is a different nigga. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's the boogeyman. Uh, what are you gonna uh, do against Carlos Pradas? If you want to, if you want to get disrespectful, what are you gonna do to Kevin Holland? <laughs> <laughs> Your brother? What you mean? Hey, comments, <laughs> comments below, guys. Tell me that this motherfucker don't look like Kevin Holland. 
<laughs> not look I'll like Evan Holland. He does. Yes, he too. does. Um, real quick, let's talk about your wait, boy, John wait, Jones. Fast. Quack, quack. Do y'all not see what Charles go through to make 155? Like, yeah, he, like, tell him to stop kills getting himself. big posts out of, out of post. He's too big. Pause. Yeah. All right, let's talk about it. John Jones and uh, Stipe Miocic. Stipe retires. Shout out to him. You know, shout out to Stipe. Um, I mean, I think, Jay, you, you picked Stipe, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> and Why? I did preface. Well, because I preface. I, I, I'm all emotion on certain fighters. One of them being John Jones. The other one being your twin, Kevin Holland. I will pick against John Jones every single time. I don't give a fuck. I hate John Jones with a passion. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He is my most hated, not UFC fighter. He's my most hated professional athlete. Oh, that's crazy. That's, wow. crazy. that's what got John mad at us. John, John came at us crazy on Instagram for two days straight. Really? He was, he was on the page crashing out. DMs oh, and all. Bro. Yeah, this was like that's a month crazy. ago. Seeing some sensitive. screenshots. I'm He's very sensitive. Hell yeah. Wait, and are we all gonna just keep like I'm like I'm tired of Dana White talking about he's a pound for pound. He's not, but I'm gonna just like 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 as a community, I think we all should just annoy Dana White. You know what I'm saying that. I think we just annoy him. That he's yeah. not a pound for pound. We have been. Not. pound for pound? No, no, no. We have been going after Dana White saying oh. shut the fuck up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, because he's he is trying. Yeah, so Johnny Bones Jones. Um, I mean, the fight went pretty much as I expected. Um, I, I no, I will, sh- sh- you know, I will say I didn't expect him to do a spinning back kick. I mean, he throws a lot of kicks. I uh, didn't expect him to finish Stipe with a spinning back foot. But I mean, Stipe, yeah, l- l- listen, it really reminded me of the fight the the, the night before. Where Steepy just looked old, slow, his legs were failing him, you know what I mean? And Jones, you know, took care of business. Like, I don't think it's this great performance that people are trying to, you know, right. shine light on him. He did what he had to do. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm watching that fight and I started thinking to myself, I think I even might have texted you, Jace. I was like, because there were a couple jabs and a couple of shots that Steepy hit him with. He ain't right. eating that off of Francis. He ain't eating that from Francis, and he ain't eating that from Alex. And he Tom. damn sure ain't eating that off of Tom. Yeah. Like, or, Steve ain't... What? Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, or those instances where, where Stipe would land a one, two, and John would, like, run away. Mm-hmm. Tom is fucking running you down in that situation. Yo, Stipe, there, there I... was a sequence where Stipe hit him with, like, a one, two, something up against the cage. John Jones does the lazy turn and run away, right? And it reminded me of when BSD blasted Matt Frivola with that high kick oh, yeah, when yeah. he was being lazy. And I said too. to myself, I'm like, see, that's how you know Stipe old. Because oh, younger Stipe would have kicked him in the damn head. You can't right. exit off like just all hands down, lollygagging like that. I'm like, yeah, Tom ain't letting you get away with that. And Stipe, like, I know he's a, he's an all-time great, but and he's opposed to thinking he's going to win a fight. But I don't think he really wanted to beat John Jones though. I just think he just wanted to get it over with. Like that man. That's what I've seen. Thing. That's what I've seen. Like, yeah. I mean, he. I think they said he made upward to like five mil. Yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> Why not? Body yeah. shot, go down. Fuck it. <laughs> Yo, real quick, cause cause I posted on my TikTok and I I don't see this fight next too. What do y'all think about Stephen versus Jake in a boxing match? Like right now. <laughs> That sounds like something that uh, Jake Paul would do. You, you don't think Stephen knocks him out? I think he. No. I think he, really? No, we gotta stop playing. We gotta stop playing with Jake. We are gonna get to Jake Paul in him, but we gotta stop playing with him. <laughs> like okay. we gotta. Hey, why he ain't responding to uh, Artem Bivov or how you say his name, Jace? Uh, Artem Bivov. Yeah. You know what I'm talking I, about? I, I, yeah. The the the, the Arthur, the, the yeah, Russian Arthur. light heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who said, yeah. come get it, belt on the line. You said you want to be a champ. He been quiet. He ain't said nothing. He probably he probably thinking about it. Like, should I take this risk? Like, he probably thinking. Man, Cause if, listen. Because if, if Jake fight him and if Jake even lies, if, I don't know. If he lies, if he somehow doesn't get finished, Pause. I don't know. 
<laughs> uh, real quick, so John Jones, as everybody knows, is a hundred percent at this point. There is no denying. If I, you know, I wanted to try to get a John Jones fan on, but I also just don't want to talk to a John Jones fan. <laughs> <at the same time. laughs> but like, I want to know, like, as a John Jones fan, and if you are, comment down below. How can you make excuses for him not fighting Tom for being willing to vacate his belt to fight Alex? Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Go ahead. And John, like, I think he like he was put in a position to be great because he was asserted in that era when the when the when the good guys were already old, like, and he finished all of them basically, yeah, all of them, like, and I think they were really like they wasn't like old old, but they was up there in age, and John was able to finish them. He was a faster, bigger, stronger, so. Yep. But then, then he met Gus. Then he, he know, he saw what it was. Then you know, mm-hmm. so. And, and that's what's funny know. is that all of a sudden now he's like, oh, you guys found somebody that's thirty pounds heavier than me and young right. and, and seven years younger than me. I'm sorry, weren't you seven years younger than DC? Right, exactly. Ooh. Exactly. Ooh. Like and those DC <laughs> fights, they're they're closer than than what I remember because I, I watched them back. I'm like, DC was in there. He was doing his thing. Yeah, DC was doing his thing. Uh, well, well, fight two, the second fight, DC. I actually thought he won a couple of rounds, um, mm. for sure. But I mean, DC so when wins. I was when I was watching Stipe and John Jones, all I can think about is like, oh, Tom fucks him up. Yes. Like that's all I can think about. Tom fucks him up, and he knows and, it. And, yeah, and he's trying to create this n- narrative. Where he's kind of taking the high role and I deserve this and blah blah blah. Like, yo, 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 this is not boxing. This is not right. the, the old guard. You know, right. there are young, hungry people out there. And all I think about is, I wonder why they call you bitch. I wonder why they call oh. you bitch. That's right. You know what right. I'm saying? Like he, you claim to be this the, the baddest man on the planet. Well, shit, right. motherfucker. Ten toes down. Stand on business. It's in you location. Know? And- but but honestly, like, do we really want to see him fight Tom Aspinall? Because yes. watch this. Yes. I'm, I'm going to say this because he hit yes. harder than this guy. I already know that. But is Tom Aspinall faster than Dominic Reyes? Yes. He's um, faster than No. I do. Well, that fight was like four or five years ago. I, Tom, um, like you said, he would kill it. I think he would knock John's out. I think he would just do him bad. He would just, he does him bad in there. That's not bad. And John lost that fight to Reyes, in my opinion. I he did. Hundred percent. He lost. 100%. He lost. But, and but he knows it. I think. I think that. I don't think Tom is as fast, but I think he's fast enough. Like he's mm-hmm. faster than John. A. He's stronger than John. B. Mm-hmm. He's more athletic than John. C. You know what I mean? Um, listen, listen. We as an MMA community needs to accept this. You ready for this? John Jones is not going to fight Tom Aspinall. He's not. He is not. He He'd rather go to PFL. <laughs> he, he's not. There's, there's, what he's going to do, what he's going to do is price himself out. He's going to be like, yo, I'm going I'm to I'm need, you know, 100 mil. He's going to say numbers that he knows that you have seen Dana White doesn't pay so he can save face in the community and saying, oh, well, I tried to, but they didn't pay my numbers, so fuck it. And at the end know, of the day, yeah. Um, but you know, that that's exactly what he said in, in his post-fight conference. He was like, I want F you money to put up this risk and da-da-da-da. But Dana did say that he's willing to pay and he feel like it'll be the biggest fight, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I think that they'd be willing to pay... Conor McGregor number, but they definitely not going to do like no 100 mil, nothing crazy. But that is what I think Jones would try to do because he in his post-fight conference, he said, I want enough money to where it doesn't matter if I win or lose. What? 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 This how what? we're talking now? That was crazy. Also, real fast, the stark contrast, right? When he was in the ring. And was like, oh, well, I'm not retiring. I guess y'all want me to fight Tom, huh? That that's the fight we want. You know, let's no, make. He some wouldn't shit. say his name. He didn't say his name, right. but he alluded to Tom, yeah. not Alex. And then he gets right. to the postcast conference and is like, "Oh, Alex, I'm not fighting Tom. Tom is a bad guy. Stop saying Tom is an asshole. No one, no, no one believes this. Like Tom, everyone knows Tom is a nice guy. You know, people right. like Tom. 
you know, you're the asshole. You ran mm-hmm. over a pregnant woman and left her and came back for your drugs. I, oh. I just want to take time to praise Jesus. That shit, that, shit is, that shit is crazy. <laughs> and like, yo, crazy. what's his... Like what's his deal calling out Jamal Hill? Like he's oh, I'll fight Jamal Hill at two twenty. Trying to like, fight you... everybody except for Tom. Not not for nothing though. I got Jamal Hill in that fight. I'm sorry. I got Jamal <laughs> Hill right now in that fight. I don't care. Nah. I got Jamal Hill. You don't Fucking think so? John grabs him, throws him upside down, turns him around. Mm. I don't know about that. I feel he like I don't his, know. He does the same thing know. that Alex. Like 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 like. Okay, so Alex let Jamal. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And if John fights Alex, what is he gonna do? And I love that Dana said it. Nah, I don't want to see that fight. All I can say, he's too big for Alex. He's gonna, even though John tries to, oh, me, you know, me and Alex are of the same height, and, and we walk around the same right. way. No, no, no. You right. grab Alex. You ragdoll yeah. him to the ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's what you're going to. Do. You ground and pound finish him. Like yes. we've seen all, this. All, all I would hope in the pray is that he's able to start the fight and to land one fucking calf kick on you. You know that that that, that would be me hoping and praying. That's the best case scenario. Yeah. But no, he's gonna right. be like fucking. Randy Couture shooting on James Tony, you know, from across <laughs> the other side of the right. ring to get Alex right. down. Oh, so Alex! Oh my God, I hate. I don't hate the man, but he just like he's a to me he's a piece of, he's a paper champion. He's a paper. Ooh, hot take! Let's get into he it. Did. You know, you know your boy Jace love him some Alex. I don't know why though. He's not he's not fighting nobody that's giving him that challenge to go wrestle or to grapple. They all want to stand up with him. Like, what are okay. you doing? Oh. One, you only can fight the people wait, wait, question, in front of you. Question, question, question. If Batman was real, are you going <laughs> to fight Batman in the dark? You going to fight him in the dark? Or are you going to fight him in daylight? I'm banging. I'm fighting this nigga in the dark. What? No, you're not. I'm no, you're banging. Not. You come and visit the dark. I was born here. Oh, this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Captain. He, How's he, it going? Captain Cap over How's there. It <laughs> How's it going? Uh... Nah. So but you I, hate yeah. Alex because he's great. Got no, it. I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I think he's overrated. With some other champions, I think he's overrated too. But we're not you, getting into that. You, you, but. He's overrated because he's great. He's overrated because he's a two divisional champ. He's overrated. Name one. Name one champion or person he's been in the UFC that that has been great besides Israel, obviously. Well, I mean that is the one that's kind of suspect, isn't it? All right, don't don't let him bait you into this silliness. What? He, he be trying to play on Izzy's name. <laughs> and, and he tried to act like Israel didn't sleep, Alex. <laughs> wait, we 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 are aware that Izzy, Izzy was winning that whole first fight, right? Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Just saying. Oh, okay. Until he wasn't. Shout out to Max Holloway. And and and, and honestly, that's the difference between a TK. Did you want to bring up Max? That's the difference between a, a K um a TKO. You see how Alex, I mean. Izzy was still up, moving, alert. Right. That boy, Alex, was, yo, he was dead. He was gone. He was convulsing. He was gone. Three. He, and guess what? Three out of four. four. And, he, and he still shot him dead. <laughs> Three out of four. Shot him. Three out of four. I mean, doesn't matter. Well, you can say three out of four, three out of four, whatever you want to say. It was does he matter. not sleep? Was he sleep? And he slept, Izzy. He slept Izzy. Why do you keep skirting past the and then, question? And then, and then, watch this. When Alex fights Malgomet, and, and when when Malgomet makes that dumb decision to stand up with one of the most elite strikers in MMA history, yeah. we're gonna take that. We're gonna over exaggerate that because we're, we're never because it'll be the first time in a long time that we we'll see a Russian that good down like that. And we're gonna be like, oh, he's the best ever. No, but whatever. Listen, it's gonna, it's gonna can, happen. He can't help it that his division right now. Is doesn't have a you know a lot of wrestlers. That's not his fault, is it? He sure got him out of one eighty five, didn't he? Yeah, he, he got, sure he got, got, he got to get, there. You know, he, he sure got, got to get gifted up to the top, not having to go through no wrestlers at one eighty five. Hey, huh? he was killing himself to make eighty five. He no, he wasn't. He yes, wants to go back list. down and fight Drinkus there. Then why he want to go back down and fight Drinkus there? Right, he was that's killing himself. I think he was trying to just bait the fight. No, he not. He wants that fight. Don't know. We'll see. Mm, all right. So John Jones is not gonna fight Aspinall. No. Uh, do you think he fights Alex? Do no. you think he vacates the belt? Yes, because he retires. Yeah, I think John retires. Yeah. He's gonna hold on to the title until let's say summer. 
I don't think UFC is going to give him no summer. That's a long time. That's a long time. I think they're going to make him make a decision by March. We'll I think see. this this is this is what's gonna happen. I think um Joel Tim is gonna lay on whoever he's laying on, and they're gonna make Joel Tim raise his time for the undisputed belt. That's what's gonna happen. They so. better not. I hate Jolton Almeida. I why though? I like him though. Why? Did though? you not why? watch him versus Derek Lewis? All right. I as as a fighter, is it not Top my five worst fight? Wait, him versus Derek Lewis? Yes. It was because he put the finish Derek. He didn't. It was twenty four minutes bad. of riding cowgirl on Derek with was, no grounded pound. What it's were crazy. you about to say? I don't even know because she she made a good point. <laughs> she killed you. She murdered yeah, she you. Kinda, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Damn. what was I gonna say about Jolton? You can I don't know, but I, I don't. I don't think a lot of guys beat him in heavyweight division. Besides Tom, to be honest, I think a lot of guys beat him. And Chris already um, did, but we seen what, what 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 was happening until Chris caught him. So whatever. Sounds good. I can't well, believe you got, Curtis, you, got, you, got hate, you got hate for, 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 for the arguable GOAT, Alex Pereira. Whoa, it's warranted. No. It's warranted. Go at what? It said arguable. Y'all arguable going goat. crazy. Listen, listen. We've never seen anything like this. Listen, We've listen, never listen. seen anything like this. Like We've who, never like seen Alex? a knockout artist? Alex Pereira. Is a knockout never artist. Seen. Oh, Is a knockout artist a two-divisional champ? Flirting with being a three divisional champ, all I mean, he does is fight former champs and kills them. Like we've never seen anything like this. Does your boy retire with any belts? <sighs> That's a good question. Damn. Um, I hope so. I don't think he is. Hope I'm so. in the room. Uh, real quick, let's get into uh this weekend's card. Uh, Jace's two guys. Oh my god, I've, ex- <laughs> I've had anxiety. People in my well. fucking DMs talking shit to me about this, asking me who I'm gonna pick, and they know I'm fucking sweating. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> if y'all don't like me, y'all can bite me. Uh, Yam versus <laughs> Davidson Figueredo. Oh, don't act like oh, you don't no. listen to uh, Dr. Dre. Um, I think this card actually isn't that. N- never mind. They got too many, too many, yeah. <laughs> too many what? <laughs> Huh? Too many what? <laughs> Nothing. There's, there's too many, like... <laughs> <laughs> too many. Too many what? I like Mahashata, though. I like Mahashata. That, that, that's my guy. That's his name. Mahashata, I like him. He's pretty cool. I like him. I've never seen him before, LD. Yeah. Okay, so wait. Too many what? But I know Nicholas Mata. Oh, up, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a large population over there in China. <laughs> right. This is like CJ Jr. over here. Um, <laughs> let's see. This dude right here is nasty. Kavanaugh, he's nasty. He was on Dana White, not nasty in a bad way. Um, he was yeah. on Dana White's contender series this, this season. And he saying. got a beautiful, um, knockout on there. Y'all make sure y'all go check him out. Um, right. yeah, they don't, they don't have anything on here, but, uh, check out his contender series fight. And the, um, and the guy that he beat was pretty good too. He beat a good yeah, guy. He was, he was good. Um, we're not gonna worry about that. Wayne Kong in the building, aka the Joker, the chick that had her debut and knocked out that girl. I can't remember who she knocked out, but it was a nasty one punch knockout. You don't really see that much, especially at flyweight. She does have she has a win or a loss over Valentina. I can't remember. I think a win in kickboxing. They said something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. She like knocked this bitch boxing. out cold with a in a minute. That was beautiful. So I'm looking forward to that fight. Are y'all looking forward to uh, my baby daddy, Carlos Uberg, taking on Vulcan Uzdemir? Yeah. That's who's going to KO Alex, but that's beside the point. And of course, yeah, of course looking forward to that fight. Wait, what? And that's the man who's going who's, who's gonna to end all this. This I don't know what you want to call it. This, 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 it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy we're living in. It's, it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. I'm going to say that. Hey, who's the uh, 205 champ? Alex. Okay, cool. Sorry, you were saying? <laughs> Um, you really, you you really can't think Alex is that good, though. I swear you can't. You really bro, can't Alex that is that nigga. Good. Yes. So, is he an elite MMA fighter or is he an elite kickboxer? What is elite it? MMA fighter? That's he is not. That is that is that's not true. Okay, that is not true. <laughs> he practices what now? He's Jiu-Jitsu, in MMA. He he's in he he's in MMA, correct? Yeah. 
okay? And the UFC is the premier organization, Listen. correct? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go ahead, the go UFC ahead. is in a is the premier organization, correct? Right. That's the right. only MMA that you follow because you believe it's the best of the best of the best, correct? It is the best, yeah. I don't want to put words in your mouth. It's the best, the UFC. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Okay. Um, and then who is the 205 champ of the UFC, which is a Alex. mixed martial arts corpora- uh, uh, co- corporation? Alex Pereira. Gentlemen and ladies of the jewelry, I, I rest my case. No. Thank you. No. No, because so, he's a specialist. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Exactly. That's it. The game, the the game right now is ran by specialists. No, no. Ilya Islam. Islam is a specialist. At what? Wrestling, grappling. He, I think I, he 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 does a fair mix of, of striking too. But I, I, I get what you're trying to say. Jake's trying to get fully. He's Jake's a specialist. Give him. He's a specialist. Now he I will agree. bang. Mm-hmm. He 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 will bang for a bit. Is right? Pantoja a specialist? Pantoja's that dude. He's not a specialist. He's just a dog. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a dog. He, he's a dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pantoja a dog, ain't he? No, he ain't. <laughs> he a Pantoja laying, dog, praying dog, bitch ass. He? he is. He's he a, a bitch. Dog. You're right. He is. He a bitch. Valentina <laughs> specialist. No, she not. She's she just went out there and specialist. laid and prayed on Alexa Grasso. She's a kickboxing specialist. Oh, no. but, but before I get, before I get, right? Bilal so, specialist. But yeah, of course. Yeah. Wait, remember the all that all that stuff you were talking about, Bo Nickel? Right? I kid you not, he beats Alex right now. He takes him down. He doesn't let him get up. Stop I swear to God, playing, I swear, bro. swear to God. I Stop swear to you. Playing. Alex is Alex not good. Kills him. Alex no. kills him. Alex got taken down by Israel Adesanya. Hey, go ahead, folks. Make your comments. Tell me. It's, it's, let's hear what y'all got to say about Alex Paul Tom Pereira. Is AJ right or did I cook uh, Kevin Holland? Y'all tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Call Big mm. Mouth. Um, so let's just real quick get past this card so we can talk about the boxing and if we have any other right. hot takes or whatever. Um, we're just going to do the top three picks. I, uh, Jace, go ahead and give yours. <laughs> that way uh, we don't have to sit here for you to be like, oh shit, I don't know. Welterweight. I'm going with, uh, Team Russia. Okay. Uh, the woman's, I'm going with, uh, Team China. Okay. Are you picking right now? Are you picking the fights? Yeah, yeah, he he just don't want to say their name. He's going Muslim, he's going Yan, and he's going... He's going I'm not picking. Top. I'm not picking. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. That's, Too many times this year I've had to pick between people I love, and y'all that's, know that's I love That's your me problem. Some like and less I love fighters. me some Yan. That's Tabitha? Tabitha on this card? Yeah. I'm going to see Tabitha fight um, Tracy Cortez. I'm going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Oiled up. <laughs> <laughs> mud, please. Um, you can't see enough of mud. Go ahead. Yon a- <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> you can't see can't enough. Can't see enough. <laughs> AJ, who, 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 who your top three picks? No, 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 AJ. Jace, stand on business and pick. You're going to have to. Yes, you are. Yes, this you is are. Tough, right, though. This is so tough. Listen, right? all I got to do is stay black and die. That's it. Not. Honestly, though, I don't want to pick two. I don't want to pick. <laughs> no, we pick it. It two. don't matter. But like, see, this fight, I'm better on this fight. I'm not gonna bet a winner. I'm just gonna bet Holy the fight. Holy shit! Gonna, Hold on so a minute. A Did y'all look at the time? Oh shit! Did you, the cards? The main card starts at three a.m. Pacific. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. What the fuck? The prelims start at twelve a.m. Pacific time, y'all. Awesome. Listen, I'm gonna wake awesome. up to the results. I'm gonna. And, no, I'm and gonna like, up. I'm gonna right. wake up and watch the full card at, the, the, at my convenience. Wow! Just don't touch my phone. Turn Actually, on the TV. I mean, I'm typically up by five, so I'll be up for the for the main for the last Yo, two at least. If Davidson wins this fight by like KO or finish, whatever you want to call it, should he weigh off for a title shot? He should mm-hmm. already get the title. He shouldn't have to fight this fight. He deserves it over Umar a hundred percent. 
Yeah, I think so. You definitely over Umar, yeah. Yo, why is he even ranked? Like, for, like, for real. Like, who did he beat before Corey Sanhagen? He got the court. He got the, uh, the Sean White O'Malley. Privilege. The Sean O'Malley privilege. He fought, Bar- he, he fought um, Barcelos, knocked him out, and that's really, from what I remember, then he got ranked after that. And he got he got pieced up for a second, too. Right. But that's in crazy, his defense, in his defense, nobody really didn't want to fight him for real, for real. I don't give right. a fuck. And like, Only Corey. I'm going to say this. Right. And I'm going to say this right now so we don't be in the future. We don't talk about it. When um when Usman comes to the UFC, they're going to give him the same treatment. So it doesn't even matter. Facts. So. How do you think Usman going to do at 155 in the UFC? I think I think he right now, I think he's better than everybody besides Islam and, 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 and Ilya. I'm throwing Ilya in there because Ilya's the man. That's why. But he's better than everybody besides those two. I think. I've, Why do y'all think he's coming to the UFC? Because Bellator was the old. He, he said he was. He said, I'm leaving when I'm 28 and I'm going to tie when I'm 32 in the UFC. That's what he says. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah. I said I'm going to be a millionaire so freaking bad and I'm still not. Uh, Jace, <laughs> pick. Come on so we can move on. No. Yes. I'm, I'm going with, I'm, I'm going to go Davidson. Fuck it. I'm going to go Davidson. All right. I'm gonna go Davidson round two KO. I'm calling it right now. Fuck it. Whoa, that that's Whoa. that's that's crazy. Cause I don't I don't know I don't know how the fight's gonna play out. I just feel like they're too elite. Like they both just like they're both like, I don't know. I'm going Davidson though. Uh I mean honestly, how the fight will either play out is that Jan clips Figgy or F- did D- D- Davidson is going to try to re- wrestle fuck him for five rounds straight. Right. And Davidson has, in my opinion, he's being better fighters. So I'll say that too. Scott, who you got? Uh, I'm going Muslim. I'm going Yang Xiaonan. And I am going, I'm having a hard time with the main event as well because we know that Figgy can mix in the wrestling. We, but Yan, the when I think back to just like, the original Jan that walked down Corey Sandhagen and eventually broke him down. The one that walked down Jose Aldo and eventually broke him down. Like when he systematically gets in his bag, he's nasty. Um, and it's right. not like he just gets uh, unless it was against Marab. You know, Marab did what Marab did to him. But right. I just feel like, oh my, it is a tough. It, it's tough to choose. But if I, I it really is. but because I am gonna have to pick, I am gonna go with something's telling me Figgy. I don't know why. Something's telling me Figgy. I want to go with Yan, but something's telling me Figgy. So I'm gonna go Scott, Figgy. Scott, I, I can't see the odds. What are the odds for the fight? Uh, minus two seventy eight Yan plus two twenty five Figgy. That's crazy. Yeah. Right now, that that is. That I, is. I mean, just on business, I might take Izzy and the or Figgy. And Wait, the who? Who's the favorite? Yon. Yon. Yon's almost a three to one favorite. He, he should be though. He should be. Should he though? I don't I don't I don't. matter of fact, I'm I'm switching my pick. I'm 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 gonna pick I'm gonna pick Yon. Only because I'm gonna go Yon. I think I think Yon is a better fighter than Brandon Moreno, and I think he he will do more damage to um Davidson than Brandon Moreno. So. <laughs> Yon is a better fighter than Brandon Moreno, that's for nah, sure. No, nah, no, don't come on here with the, don't give Jace no reason to start with that Brandon Moreno hate. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't hate I'm Brandon Moreno. I'm not doing Moreno. that. Just don't think uh, I'm do going it. Yon. The only reason why is because when I look back at at the competition, Yon, who he's his his last couple of fights, I, I'm a oh my. God. Both champions too. The both champions too. Yon has fought the who's who. He's a former champ too. Like right, he's former. Yeah. So oh, but Figgy as well. Who's who? Click on a uh, Figgy Sky. No, nah, I'm going back to Figgy. I'm going back to Figgy. <laughs> like, nah, I, I don't know. I mean, he's. I mean, those are who's who. Yo, can somebody find a record against Russians versus Brazilians in the UFC? I don't. I want to know. I want to know. Who's <laughs> Hey, that's a good that's a good thing to deep dive into. That's All right, quickly, dive. come on, come on, so we can so we can move on. Final pick. I'm not picking. Jace. I'm really not. Let's just go. Jace, stop. I I I, I have not not picked you, the fight. You already all agreed year. last year that every single fight was getting picked this year. Come on, stop it. And are you you guys are sure you're picking um picking Salakov over um over Kanam? You guys sure about that? I think? 
Okay. Um, Final pick. Um, I fucking love Figgy, dude. I love right. him so much. But I think, war, Jan, man. I think I think Jan's going to, to get him. I think Jan breaks him down and gets like a fourth round stoppage. All right. Um, let's move on. Let's keep submit on. to Jan. Oh my god. Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. I can see that. Yeah, because it's just it's too it's a lot. Thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I think either one of them can get it done. It's a great fight. It's unfortunate that it that it has to happen, but it right. is what it is. It shouldn't have to happen, but it is what it right. is. Quickly, let's talk about uh your boy Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. I personally don't have much to say about it. Um, yeah, me neither. Uh-huh. You know, it is what it was. Uh, I'm glad Tyson didn't get hurt. Shout out to Jake Paul for not killing Tyson because he could have if he wanted to, and he decided not to. Yeah. So, but why? Um, but why? But why promote it and took all that and did not? Uh. I think I think because a little bit of him, like when he got in there, it kind of like you seen how Mike was looking like. And if he had a relationship with Mike, like they were actually cool outside of this fight and shit. That's a fact. And I That's think that he was just like, man, this, you see, that this is a sixty-year-old man. Like, damn, I am right. cool with you. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to go there. It's kind of like when you're fighting a sibling. Like, you know what right. I mean? Like, you might, y'all might squabble, but you're not gonna like when he get down, just bow, just unless y'all different. I mean, we never went that far. We never, you know what? I, I never fought I, my siblings. I, I threw a knife at, uh, at Jason's head. Oh wow, that's crazy! You, <laughs> but I, <laughs> crazy. I have, I have, bodied all of my male cousins. <laughs> yeah, yeah male cousins are good. You want to know why? Because Jace is a menace. Jace is an absolute asshole in a menace. Y'all don't know what he did to us as kids. Constantly thought he was a rock. Constantly thought he was the Undertaker. Coming inside there eating cereal, getting hit in the head, getting body slammed. Just horrible. He was awful 24-7. So once I got a little bit older, oh, I was on it. <laughs> yeah, but he never tried me like they tried me. No, not once I got <laughs> older. No, 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 no. Yeah. They was like 16, I had to handle them. It was like the Avengers tried to, on um, the same Thanksgiving, on the same Thanksgiving, both our male cousins was like, remember when we was kids and you used to, like, Jace had to body slam them, hold them down. Oh, damn. And mama was coming, was like, let him go. And he's like, nah, not until he calmed down. Then we went to, because you know, some Thanksgiving, right. like if you got multiple family, you go to different houses. So then we went to our grandpa house and our other cousin was over there and he was like, he was like, yo, remember when you tried doing, Jason's like, what the is going on like why is everybody trying to fight me this thanksgiving and, and then he had to body slam him like and this is like legit body slam like you know jace like nah you know chill 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 then finally like bam like get off of me it was bad hey but that just goes to show how much of an asshole he is whoa <laughs> damn damn hey what's up with all this revisionist history <laughs> he's not revising anything we keeping the g so uh like, be, be, yeah yeah go ahead aj like, um, and like the thing with Jake too, like it's really hard to grasp this, but I can't even about to say this, but we really have to find fighters in the UFC that we think could be Jake in the boxing night. And that shit is crazy to me. That's crazy. No, he needs to fight somebody in PFL. That's who he signed with. Mm-hmm. That's his company. Fight, fight one of your dudes. Stop trying to make names off of old UFC fighters. Force mm-hmm. this man to fight the people that he promoting. He's trying to make PFL such a big company. You trying to put up against the UFC. So why are you always calling out the UFC then? PFL, if your company oh is so good. Yeah, PFL. I think <laughs> one is better than PFL. And I heard one is garbage, but Yeah, uh, one about to fold. So hey, uh let me ask you this before we get this hot take and I know we're we're, we're, we're running low on time. I got why? I got a nice hot take. Whoa, okay. Uh, why do you not watch other organizations? No, no, no. I do, but I'm saying the UFC is just the best. Like that's it. Like I watched that fight with um with with Rug Rug and um um but like um the guy from one. They got three belts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I watched that fight, and I'm like, oh, maybe he could be a threat to Tom and John. Get a get him off with him. No. <laughs> yeah. I seen with nah. Uh... And. That rug rug guy, he's not even skilled. He's just a big wrestler who's throwing him around and stuff like that. So it was like, mm-hmm. yeah. 
But I like watching like I, I watch videos some, oh. sometimes. <laughs> Big videos. <laughs> Shout out to Andre. That, <laughs> Best fighters in the world is in the UFC, man. Yeah, for sure. Hit us with the first hot take, Jace. Oh no, no, no! I want to hear AJ's real fast. Okay, yeah, let's go. Oh, y'all gonna? I don't know how I feel about this man, but I just my opinion. Kamaru Usman is the most overrated UFC champion in history. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Hundred percent disagree. Hundred percent. Wait, I'm not giving him those two George fights. I'm not doing that. I don't care. He won them, but I'm not giving him those fights. There's no reason to give him those fights. There's no. He killed that George, man. George is he should have. He was never on his level. He was, he never I been agree. In the first place. He's never on his level. His his best win. Hear me out. His best win. In my opinion, on record, is Gilbert Burns. That's his best win. Stylistically, with Gilbert, Gilbert Burns when I run, he stopped him. That, that, that's his best win. And so the Kobe fights are great. They're, they're we going to discount too. the 15 uh, fights that he won in a row? No, I just mean like him like him as a champion. Him as him as a champion. Like his championship run. I think that's overrated. Like That's what he, I think. He can't help who Dana kept making him fight Kobe and Jorge. Those was the money fights. That's who Dana made him fight. Like He couldn't be like, uh, let me fight... Bilal, like, he couldn't pick and choose. Those were the people they wanted him to fight. He didn't duck nobody when he was champ. You know what? Maybe it's the it's the fact that people call him the welterweight goat, and I don't think he's nowhere near that. Maybe it's that. I don't. I think, I think at his peak, Kamaru Usman was just that guy. Like, he's like one of my top ten favorite fighters unfortunately i hate him now yeah yeah, yeah. i hate him now because he's a trumper but um Mm. i I do i did i did really really like kamaro um especially once he started putting it together and i don't think he was another fight in his career i think this is his his last win was against whoever he beat i don't know who he'd be last but that that was his last win i think he's done yeah yeah i don't think he wins again all right so before we get out of here we got a uh, hot take from at Alexis underscore Allfather, who asks, <laughs> "Would you rather?" <laughs> All right, who asks, "Would you rather a spend thirty seconds in an octagon fighting Alex Pereira in a kickboxing match, or b spend thirty seconds in an octagon against?" Habib in a grappling match. Damn. Uh, I I'm am. Not... Go ahead. Damn. I don't want to get kicked in my legs by that man. I really don't want to get kicked in my legs, man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say Khabib. He's not. Yeah, I'm gonna say Khabib. I'm not. I'm not striking with Alex. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Jamal. I'm not. I'm not Malgamed. I'm not. Nah. I'm smart. I'll just avoid that. Because he's the best. At what he does. Yes. MMA. Got it. Scott? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm taking Habib as well. I am going to try and run as fast as I can. And not like I, I, I told Jace this. I'm trying to run like CJ Vergara when he was about to get knocked out that one time in Texas. And he just literally took off running in the octagon and had to like clear it. That's how I'm running in there. I'm not running like, oh, you know, I'm going to try to run. And then, you know, I'm not trying to get knocked out. I'd much rather get, like, taken down, submitted, possibly even ground and pound. At least you can try to, like, defend rather than having to go and get separated from consciousness from some nasty hook or a head kick. I mean, look what he did to Yuri. Right, uh, I totally he disagree. I, I totally disagree. I'm, I'm fighting Alex. I feel like it's going to be easier for me to run from Alex for 30 seconds in the octagon. And uh, the reason why I say this, the reason why I say this is that um, Khabib, when someone's trying to grab you, like it's hard to get away. I literally like when I, when I think about this, I think about Habib's shot on Connor that was from like, fucking St. Louis, Missouri, and he still got Connor's fucking left pinky toenail. And from that left pinky toenail, was still able to get Connor on the ground. You know what I mean? Fuck that. And at the end of the day, I would rather I would rather get knocked out and separated from my consciousness than someone ripping a limb off 
and or or Tap. Or, or squeezing the life yeah. out of me. Tap. Tap. You can't. You're not gonna tap after you get knocked out. Listen, so, you already know, Sky. You already know. You already know. I don't tap. I don't tap, Sky. You know that. This, 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 this Alex Ferrell is crazy. I don't know. I don't know why we don't do this as MMA fans, but we know we are allowed to add women's in the all-time goat list, right? Yeah. You does he outrank Amanda and Valentina all time? Ooh. Ooh, good question. Um, I would say no now. Okay, thank you. I was um, to say. About to say. I would say no now, but a couple things. One, he gets and, and uh, I'll throw I'll throw Yoana in it too. I'll throw Yoana in it too. He's above he he's above her. You think no she got six hundred percent. Hundred percent. Two divisional champ. For you. And 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 he and here's the thing, he can get above both Amanda and Valentina with a few more defenses. And last but not least, and I know we're running low on time, Alex Pereira gets above every fucking human on the face of the planet if he wins the heavyweight title. I don't give a fuck by hook or crook. If he becomes a three-divisional champ in the UFC, he is the GOAT. There's no more fucking discussions. Never, ever talk about it again. If he becomes a three-divisional champion, don't fucking talk to me ever again about someone else being the GOAT if his name is not Poetan. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just call Rico. You're coming to the UFC, bro. Take care of this man. That's it. Come take care of him. That's what I'm going to do. Who's Rico? Ray Hooven, the kickboxer that he's not better than? No, he's he's done. Oh, okay. We oh, okay. Can, can we... Oh, wait, wait. Fast. Can we all agree? I don't care if it's his next fight. If somehow he fights John Jones' his next fight, and he beats John Jones... Well, he's a goal. He's that... A goal. That 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 Alex is just the greatest ever to ever do it. The best storyline we've ever heard of. He has to stuff at least three takedowns. That's my that's my catch. That's it. No. That's the stupidest hey. shit I've ever heard in my life. If he walks across the <laughs> ring and head kicks him and, and head kicks City, now he's a goat. He's that'd, a be, goat. that'd be unbelievable. If he do that, he's a goat. That's crazy. That'd be that'd crazy. Be Real quick, I want to you know. When you guys click on our link tree, there is like there is the hot take form that does come through. Uh, that's how Isaiah, I guess we had on in the past, uh, had got on the show as well. There was somebody I went. Somebody submitted a hot take, and we're not gonna necessarily answer the hot take. I'm just gonna read it. But before I do, there was somebody last year, and all of this is you is um, anonymous, so I don't know who sent it. But someone last year at the beginning of this year put, I think that. Um, Volkanovski loses two fights this year. Whoever that is, shout out to you. You got it right. That's nuts for calling that. Um, uh, but this person said, Ilya Taporia is undoubtedly pound for pound number two fighter in the organization and probably has the best back-to-back -back wins in the history of the sport. With that being said, Alex Pereira is the man is the main fighter keeping interest in the sport this year. He's fought four times in a calendar year and has saved pay-per-views on every occasion. Normal people outside of MMA wouldn't be able to name three main events this year without Alex Pereira's name in it. Without Alex, we would have uh, <laughs> without Alex we would have Raquel Pennington and Juliana Pena headlining that pay-per-view. <laughs> to me, fighter of the year is more about what you've done for the sport rather than skills as a pound for pound fighter. Right now, Alex Pereira is the main person keeping this sport alive. There's a lot to break yeah. down. There. It's a lot of Alex meat writing going on hey, in this episode. First of all, crazy. hey, shout out to you, whoever wrote this. You obviously said it on business. I wonder um, if you wrote it now that I'm thinking about it. It wasn't me. <laughs> um, you know, I claim my kills. Damn, let me think about that. Has there ever been better back-to-back -back wins? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Speak on it. Beating a prime match Holloway two times in a row, that's untouchable. I don't care what nobody says. He didn't, though. He, that second fight. That, he didn't win that second fight. I know who you're talking about. You we don't have it? enough time. We don't have enough time. I, I'm willing to sacrifice my leg on it. So we're giving him the first and third fight. That's it. Yeah. Okay, I, I, give him, that. I give him the first and third. Listen, wait. Uh, let's just say Tuck takes what he said. Um, no, that's that's cat. 
And it wasn't that, right, even if you, you say that he beat a prime max, you're talk, still talking about a guy who killed both of them. Like, who, 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 like he got a decision, but he, he slept Max and fucking Volk. I don't, I, top of my mind, who's been watching MMA since fucking 2006. I mean, really earlier than that. But um, I can't think of anything back to back wins. Because especially usually the back to back great wins of half the time are fucking rematches. I can't think of two back to back that that that's better than that. I'll, I'll have to think about it some more. Yeah, y'all uh, comment down below uh, who you guys think could possibly have the best two back to back wins. Yeah, it's a good one. And also, before we go, uh, don't forget like and subscribe. It is free. It helps in the algorithm. Thank you very much. AJ, let them know where they can find you. Yeah, my TikTok. The one you have in the name here? Yeah, yeah. AJ dot Garcia five oh four. You right. just said sometimes. Instagram, going. I do have a YouTube um just a MMA. You can type that up on YouTube. Got some videos there and stuff like that. Go watch that. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming on. We appreciate y'all watching this far. We will be back next week. Uh until then, we are out. Peace. See y'all.